thanks again uh, for holding this hearing and for allowing us to make an important, to have an important discussion on climate change and what could be done to mitigate the impacts of man-made greenhouse emissions. While we do not agree on the exact premise of the hearing, we do feel it's important to have a direct conversation about climate change. And this hearing validates that it does exist and that uh, steps must be taken to mitigate that. Uh, climate change is not a democratic, liberal, or even a regional specific issue. It's a bipartisan issue that affects the entire world and Congress cannot afford to ignore it. Former, former George W. Bush Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson published an op-ed earlier this week in the New York Times. He warns of a climate bubble wreaking havoc on our economy and environment and urges immediate action. Climate change is a bigger than winning elections or scoring political points. In our society's big, it, it's our society's biggest challenge, primarily thanks to the executive action under President Obama, we are making some serious advances to offset and limit carbon emission, but there is much more we need to do. This hearing is a good, good place to start. President Obama's 2013 Climate Change Action Panel highlighted that the carbon, the carbon storage potential of our public lands, and there may be opportunities to improve our storage capacity with prescribed grazing techniques, as we will hear today uh, from today's witnesses. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Gra grazing comes with, with baggage. As we saw with the recent Bundy debacle in Nevada, grazing on public lands can be a very contagious issue, to say the least. Talking exclusively about grazing and carbon soil sequestrations, sidelines, the most critical aspect of public land grazing. Ranchers on public lands pay $1.35 per animal unit, a rate that is substantially lower than many private and state lands. It's so low that the federal government pays more to manage the grazing program than it receives than, than it received in return through fees. The artificially low fee is a taxpayer subsidy to the grazing industry and that does much more harm than good. In FY 2004, the last time the Government Accountability Office studies grazing, the BLM and Forest Service spent $115 million more than was collected in fees. If we are going to have a realistic conversation about grazing and how it can or cannot improve carbon soil sequestration, we have to talk about all aspects of federal grazing programs, including the ridiculously low fee. Uh, Bundy made graz grazing both a viral and toxic issue, but we, can, we can't walk away from the reality. Taxpayers, our constituents are being ripped off and we are not doing anything about it. Welfare queens like Bundy are uh, with a million dollars in old grazing fees uh, continue to use the public lands at no expense to them or to that industry. Whether this hearing is about climate change or grazing on federal lands, there is more that this committee needs to do. We need to hold hearings and consider legislation both about how we reform grazing and how we deal with the cli and climate change. Committee Democrats have requested several hearings on aspects of climate change an issue that is particularly salient for those of us who come from the West, the arid West in, in, the, in my part, portion of the country. We did not request this hearing, but hope that it singles the end to the moratorium on climate change related hearings. I look forward from hearing for witnesses and at the appropriate time, Mr. Chairman, with uh, your concurrence, uh, if Mr. Huffman could introduce uh, uh, Mr. Wick, who is from his district, and I yield back.